Hey, I'm uh, continuing on the development of the laser target shooting system I've been working on. And today I'm going to show you how to do step by step how to make the target. So you start with one of these uh, clamp lights. This one's from Home Depot and it's the part number 524-603. 524-603. So I'll show you what we do. I'll just uh, pivot down here. We'll get started. First thing you do is just disconnect the, uh, the socket here. Just unscrew and this won't be needed, so you just throw that away or save it in case you ever want to use it for something else. So what we're going to do is uh, mount something in here. And you can use anything you want. I've happened to find these little plastic caps. I, I save stuff like that. And that actually fits down in there perfectly. And so what I'm going to do is um, there's two pieces, uh, two components that I'm going to mount on here. And uh, the two components are this green LED here. It, it's clear, but it, uh, when you turn it on, it's green and it's super bright. And this is the uh, LDR, the light dependent resistor. And this, uh, this is just a resistor. It doesn't have a polarity, but the diode does have a polarity. And the way I keep up with it is it's got a long uh, lead and a short lead. And the long lead is positive and, in relation to the short lead. And... Uh, that's an easy way to keep up with it. But uh, there's only two components in this uh, target. So what I'm gonna do is take some tweezers. And the first I'm gonna punch a hole here in the middle where the um, LDR will go. And I'm just gonna, that's where the leads of the LDR will go. And then I'm gonna just off to the side a little bit. I'm gonna punch another set of holes here with the resistor. And I've already got a hot melt glue gun and a uh, soldering iron warming up. So we just stick the, uh, you want the LDR in the middle because it's, it needs to be in the focal point. So you might need to make the hole slightly larger. You can use uh, anything you find uh, you know, like a piece of cardboard or uh, anything that fits in the hole. You could even just glue it in there with some silicone or something. So there I got the LDR dropped in. And then I'm going to put in the uh, um, LED. And so what I'm going to do, um, I want the LDR to be above the LED. I don't want it to be uh, blocked. So I'm going to mount it uh, about like that right there. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of hot melt glue there just to tack it. And then I can bend the leads after it uh, cools off a little bit. This hot melt glue, it won't hurt the um, components. So as it's drying, I can kind of fiddle around with it and get it to uh, be like I want. This green LED is going to project a light onto the back of the diffuser when the target's hit. And the LDR, I want that to be pretty much in the focal point of this uh, reflector here, which looks like it's close enough. So uh, what I'm going to do for now is just remove this piece. It just unclamps. Just makes it easier to, to handle this. I'm going to be gluing that in and soldering it. And uh, a little easier to, to deal with if it doesn't have that uh, piece in it. So once these are uh, stabilized, I'm going to fill the back here a little bit with some hot melt glue. Actually, I noticed the uh, resistor leads are touching a little bit, so I'm gonna open those up a little bit. So I'm just gonna squirt a little hot melt glue in the back here, just to kind of lock everything in place. It also keeps them from uh, touching once I start f moving them around. So I'm gonna set them in this clamp here and do some soldering. So 
Now I'm, uh, I've got this wire, this cable prepared already. It's, it's four conductor cable and I've stripped it and uh, tinned the leads here. So they're ready to be attached. So I'm kind of just gonna do this a simple, uh, pretty simple way. There's the the LED. I'll do the uh, I'll do the LDR first. These are the skinny ones. So what I do is I just fold the wire over. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. I just fold the wire over a little bit there. And I know my color code on the LDR is uh, brown and, and blue, and the polarity doesn't matter. So I've got the wire folded over. Uh, just take the blue one here and just do a mechanical crimp on it. And then I'll come along and hit it with the soldering iron here. I'll do the other one. This is the other lead to the LDR. Just fold it over. Slide the blue or the brown wire in there. So like I said, the LDR connections are not polarity sensitive. It's just a resistor, so it doesn't matter which way you hook it up. And since there's only two components in here, you really don't need to worry about the polarity of the LED because if you get it wrong, you can just reverse it. Okay, so I've got these two leads uh, tied in for the LDR. So what, I'm, what I do now is I just uh, fold them down so they're not touching. Sort of tuck them down and then I'm gonna, when I get done, I'm gonna pot melt this whole thing with uh, glue to hold everything in place. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing. So my, my um, Coloring code I'm doing is the long lead is white, short lead is black. So I'll start with this black one here, just fold for the uh, short lead. Make a little uh, bend in the wire and mechanically uh, crimp it. And then just come back with the soldering iron and make it a uh, soldered connection. And then I'll do the same thing on the long lead. It gets the white wire. So these are these connections are all going to be totally sealed in uh, hot melt glue, and that'll act as the insulator. So I've got the connection soldered, done with the soldering iron. So now getting ready to, to glue it into here. So what I'm going to do, I've got the LED wires here. I'm just going to fold those over in a way that they, they don't touch anything else. I want the wiring to be down low in, in the bottom of this, this cap here. So I've got all four wires tucked down low. Now all I need to do is, uh, I'm just going to hot melt glue this in. So what I'm going to do first is just put a few dots on here just to get it to stay there. And so you can see uh, when it's glued in, you'll be able to see there's the LED and the sensor inside there. I'll just put a few dots here. You have to, you have to kind of work quick because... Uh, as it dries, as it uh, cools, it, it cures. So I believe that's grabbed it. So now I'm just going to go along and uh, put a bead all along the back side of this cap to fix it into place. Because that's really the only thing that's going to hold it in. Sounds like there's something going on out there. Okay, so I've got the uh, the cap cemented in. Now I'm just going to push the uh, the cable down into the 
in the, the well here. You just take a quick look, make sure nothing's touching, there's no shorts. And then I'll just uh, squirt some glue in here. The drawback to the hot melt glue is uh, you have to be patient for it to, to, cure, to uh, cool when you put that much glue in there. It might take several minutes, so I'm going to see if I can uh, pause it for you to so you don't have to worry about uh, watching something like that. Okay, well, that took so long to cool down, I had to improvise a, uh, a way to hold the wire because I just got tired of holding it. But uh, using the part that came uh, with the lamp seemed to help. So now I've got this uh, fixed into place. And you can see inside there's the sensor and the LED. And the, the last thing to do is to glue on the, um, the paper here. And I've got a, uh, I wrote on paper here the part numbers and the DigiKey phone number if you're interested. There's a part number for the photo cell, the LED, and the uh, lamp, the clamp light from Home Depot. So you can pause on that if you want to get those numbers written down. But I'm going to actually use this piece of paper to, uh, what I'm going to do is glue the uh, light fixture on here. Just like that with the hot melt. Just going to run a bead around it here. There's probably other uh, adhesives you could use. I just find the hot melt pretty convenient. Although it does seem to take a long time to cool. But it also, um, if you need to take this paper off, it does come off. You can peel it off, it won't, uh, and you know, just use another piece of paper. Okay, I got a bead all around it. I'm just gonna let that dry, or cool, actually. And uh, when it's uh, cool, I can take some scissors and cut around it. And might as well put the clamp back on now while I'm waiting for that. The, the ball socket here is pretty handy. You can use it for adjusting the, the target. It's almost uh, as if it was made for the application. So I've got seven more of these to do, but I just wanted to go through a step-by-step -step, uh, process of uh, one of them here so you can uh, see exactly what it takes to, to put one of these together. The other end of the wire, uh, the cable, this one's a, this is a 12 foot cable. Uh, you can make them shorter or longer. It's just up to you how, how much uh, you want to spread your targets out. I'm going to have eight to 10 targets spread out in a, uh, fairly good sized area so I want to be able to to, to uh, have a have some distance between them and if you so if you want to follow along on some further uh, videos of the development of the laser simulator please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching